Ravens enter tonight, having won 24 consecutive preseason games. You can probably imagine that's the longest preseason winning streak in NFL history. The previous record was 19 straight. That was by the Packers from 1959 to 1962. The last time Baltimore lost a preseason game was back in 2015. Okay, I'm not sure that stat does matter, but there was some nose, noteworthy news this week, Shefty, down there on the defensive side of the ball in Baltimore. Remind us of what took place. Let's begin with Marlon Humphrey. Their standout cornerback underwent foot surgery, and the team still has not given up hope that somehow he could make it back for opening day, but it's more realistic that he's going to miss about a game or two. And they're hoping that his time off will be limited, but he did have a foot issue. He did undergo that foot surgery, and now we'll see how soon he can make it back. There you see more likely that he'll be at one to two games. So okay. in the interim, they did go out and added a defensive reinforcement mm. up front. Jadevian Clowney, one year, $2.5 million contract with upside to six million dollars to see if they can get it done. They're hoping that Clowney can come in, be inspired by staying within the AFC North and give Baltimore another big time pass rushing weapon to go along with some of the other effective pass rushers that Baltimore has. It just seems like this team just funnels in and out strong pass rushers and makes a difference on that side of the football. And they always find a way to, could, could, to play good defense, Wagyu, but do you like how this defense is built right now? I do. The Marlon Humphreys concerns me tremendously does. like it does with everybody else. But I think in order to kind of subjugate that, you build up front. And mm. Damian Clowney move to me mm. was a huge one. Not only because of what Shefty just talked about with the pass rush. Jadavian Clowney numbers sack-wise hasn't been gaudy, but he's been a high-pressure guy. But more importantly, when you're playing against Nick Chubb and Najee Harris, yeah. and you're still in kind of an old-school division where people will pound you if you can't stop the run, He's phenomenal against the run yeah, as an edge yeah. setter and a, and a run defender. And you take a look, since 2017, one of the top three guys on the edge at stopping the run. This is one of those things. Like, when you get taken first overall, baby face and Shefty, yep. sacks is all people care about. Yeah, like, we gonna, yeah. we gonna get, he needs to sack the quarterback 15 times a year for him to have any work. Jadavian Clowney keeps getting jobs because he's an effective piece for defensive lines in this league. Mm. The Baltimore Ravens understand that. Now, what you would hope is that he can generate that pressure and then finish some sacks as well. But you have to defend the run in this particular division yep. because teams are still willing to do it. I think this was a great sign. And I think he wanted to be in Baltimore. He visited Jacksonville, but Baltimore mm -hmm. was the place he wanted to be. Only red flag for me, he's wearing number 24 right now. Not feeling that right there. As a defensive lineman, can we yeah, get behind 24? Yeah, I don't really like that either. Okay, we no. can work on that. There's time to change that number to more conventional 90 it's like or something. like Chef, they have the on. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.